Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Today we're going to take a look at some more figures from Star Wars Rebels and this time around we're going to take a look at a Mission Series 2 pack. Now this particular Mission Series pack consists of one Rebel and one Imperial and these are really, really cool figures. Um, as I've said in previous reviews, you know, the Saga Legends and Rebels figures do suffer from a serious lack of articulation and that's not to everybody's taste. But, as I've said before, if you go into these figures, you know, make the purchase knowing what to expect, it's very difficult to be disappointed, and with these figures, I'm certainly not. Um, the pack that we're going to take a look at today, as I said, consists of two figures, and those are Zeb Aurelius and the Imperial Stormtrooper. As I said, two very, very cool figures, and definitely a mission series pack that I would recommend picking up. Certainly has its pros and cons, but uh, for the most part, it's a really decent set. So before we go into more detail about these guys, let's take a look at the packaging that they come in. And here it is. Now, I gave you a bit of a preview of this packaging in one of my previous Mission Series reviews. Um, obviously, it features the uh, Rebels design, which obviously consists of the Stormtrooper um, as the card back design. You've got the Star Wars Rebels logo at the top there. And then in each corner of the packaging we have images of the characters. So on one side we have the Stormtrooper, which do look very, very cool in the Rebels series, might I add. And then on the other side we have Zeb Aurelius. Now obviously Zeb is a character that is very similar to some of the Ralph McQuarrie concept art that we've seen uh, for the original trilogy. And Zeb is in fact based on concept art for none other than Chewbacca. So, very, very cool character design, and I'm really liking Zeb's character in the show. As you can see there, you've also got another graphic for Star Wars Rebels, indicating that it can be seen on your TV screens right now. And if we come around the back of the box, you'll see once again that Star Wars Rebels logo. You've got an image of the Rebels crew, obviously missing a couple of characters, so I'm not entirely sure why they decided to feature that one. And then just below that, you've got some more images of the Mission Series figures. Now, again, like with the Saga Legends and Rebels line, they've sort of merged the Rebels and regular character lines together. So we not only have some Rebels characters in this Mission Series line, but we also get some movie and Saga figures as well. So as you can see there, we've got Boba Fett and a Stormtrooper, which is a set that I wouldn't mind picking up because the figures look really, really cool. We've got Luke and Darth Vader there, which I've previously reviewed. General Grievous and Obi-Wan Kenobi, C-3PO and R2-D2 from Rebels, again another set that I'd really like to get my hands on soon, and Darth Sidious and Yoda, which again I've reviewed previously. As you can see on the front of the box we also have the Disney logo, and overall we have a really, really cool packaging look to this one. One thing to point out for carded collectors, the Rebels Mission Series and the Rebels single carded figure packaging is indeed a different size. As you can see the individual cards are slightly smaller, but obviously that's because the Mission Series packs have to accommodate two figures and not just one. So enough about the cardboard, let's take a look at what's inside and we'll begin by taking a look at this guy, Zeb Aurelius. Now, as I said, I'm a big fan of Zeb's character in the show so far. Um, absolutely love his accent. Um, the voice, of course, provided by Steve Blum, who is a very prolific voice actor. Um, very, very cool character, and I'm really looking forward to seeing more of him throughout the show. Again, he is based on the concept art for Chewbacca from the original trilogy, so he's got much of the same features and aesthetics as the... Uh, Macquarie concept Chewbacca figure that we saw from Hasbro a few years ago. As you can see he's got the pointed ears and the mutton chops and the beard. A very grumpy and stern look on his face which kind of captures the personality of the character really really well. Um, Hasbro have tried to incorporate a little bit of detail into these ones. Um, one thing to point out is obviously the animation style of the show is quite simplistic, it's very smooth. Um, and that really does reflect into these figures, you know, you're not going to get a massive amount of texture and detail in these um, But Hasbro have certainly tried their best and while they don't look amazing um, They certainly don't look too bad as you can see Hasbro have indeed tried to capture um, Some of the skin texture and fur in the arms um, You know, it depends which sort of side you look at it from it, it can look a little bit lazy on the part of Hasbro 
But again, if you go into these figures knowing what you're going to uh, expect, then it is a bit hard to be yeah, disappointed with them. One thing I really like about this figure is the decal on his shoulder and chest armor. As you can see, it starts on the shoulder and carry or on the chest, sorry, and carries round onto the shoulder. Um, not 100% sure what it's supposed to be, some sort of scary looking creature, but it does look very, very cool. As you can see, he's got a very nice outfit, very vibrant colors used on this one. Some very uh, creepy looking feet as well on this character. And as you can see, he does come with a very hefty looking weapon. Now, I do believe that this is the same weapon used by Agent Callus, um, and we do indeed see uh, Zeb and Agent Callus uh, square off a couple of times in the Rebel series using these particular weapons. Um, they do act as blasters, but I believe that the ends extend as well to create sort of a force pike or staff sort of weapon. Um, would have been nice if we'd have got some additional paint applications on this weapon. You know, it's a bit simple, a bit minimal, um, but it does the job. It looks pretty cool. In terms of articulation, Zeb isn't particularly packed to the brim. Uh, he does suffer from the dreaded Saga Legends 5 points of articulation. But again, if you know what to expect from these figures, then it's not a massive issue. Um, don't get me wrong, uh, as much as the next person, I'd love to see super articulated Star Wars Rebels figures. But in this day and age, it's just not going to happen. So, you know, I'll take what I can get. This particular figure features a swivel neck. He has swivel shoulders and swivel hips, so not a lot to write home about, but uh, at least he moves, at least he's not a, a statue. So that is Zeb, uh, as I said, a reasonable figure, not particularly amazing, uh, nothing you know, out of the ordinary, nothing uh, really new brought to the table, but certainly not a bad figure, and a nice representation of the character scene on screen. So moving on, let's take a look at the Imperial Stormtrooper, and here he is. Um, what I really like about this guy is that he's a nice throwback to the original uh, vintage Kenner Stormtrooper figure, in the sense that he's very skinny and his bucket is massive. Um, the only real downside to this particular figure is the paint applications on the head, and I know that this isn't just my sample, are very, very sloppy. Uh, as you can see, Hasbro are suffering at the minute from a very uh, a childish issue almost in the fact that they can't keep within the lines. So you've got the uh, the eyes on the helmet sort of overlapping the actual slots themselves, which just make them look a little bit bulbous and uh, a little bit silly, if I'm being honest. Um, the mouthpiece is also a very, very flat and wide grey. Um, so it, again, it looks a little bit stupid. Um, but that's just what we've come to expect from Hasbro. It shouldn't be like that, I know, but you know, this is a toy company that just really can't seem to do anything right these days. So, what do you expect? Um, this particular figure is currently available on a single card as well. So, if you don't want to pick up this set for the uh, Zeb figure, you just want the Stormtrooper, you can indeed pick him up individually. Um, the Stormtrooper is being heavily packed in some Star Wars Rebel sets um, and I believe in the next few months he's going to be available in three Mission Series packs. He'll be uh, packaged alongside a TIE Fighter pilot, Hera Syndulla and Sabine from the Star Wars Rebels crew. So, you know, you're going to get plenty of opportunities to pick this guy up, um, which is not a bad thing, you know. I would have preferred to have seen Sabine and uh, Hera released in the individual line, um, but you know, at least we're getting a, an army builder alongside those main uh, characters from the show. As you can see, the Stormtrooper does come with a Blastec E11 uh, Stormtrooper rifle, which is really, really cool, some nice detail on that. And as I said, the rest of the figure um, is very simplistic and very minimal, which once again does reflect the style of the animation in the show, but also is a nice throwback to the original 1970s Kenner Stormtrooper figure. Again, he only suffers from five points of articulation, so this particular guy has a swivel neck, swivel shoulders, and swivel hips. And one thing I want to point out once again is that Hasbro have again printed the serial number on the back of this figure, which is really starting to get on my nerves. Um, you know, this is blatant, it stands out like a sore thumb, and it shouldn't happen. 
you know, if anywhere, put it on the sole of the feet or, I don't know, on the inside of the arm, just somewhere that it's not as evident. That would have been much appreciated. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, not a bad figure. Um, certainly could have been better, um, but not bad, you know. Um, one thing to point out is to be very careful when picking this guy up on shelf. Uh, make sure you have a look through the multiple versions of this Stormtrooper so that you get one with decent paint applications. Um, this one is okay and it's probably one of the best examples but you can get some that where the mouthpieces are off centre, the eyes are just a mess. You know, I really don't know what's happened at Hasbro's quality control. It really seems to be going down the pan as of late. But what can you do? So there we go. That is uh, the Stormtrooper and Zeb Aurelius from Star Wars Rebels. Once again, this is a Mission Series 2-pack, and these sets will currently set you back around 9 or £10 pounds or dollars. So... You know, two figures for the price of one Black Series figure, you know, it's not a bad deal. Um, it's just a shame that the quality is slowly but surely slipping from these figures. These guys are currently available at the Disney store if you want to pick these up at brick and mortar stores. Although if you'd rather shop online, as always, there's a link just down below in the video description where you can purchase these guys from my most trusted supplier of all things Star Wars. You think you know the drill by now? That's staractionfigures.co.uk. So as always, guys, a big thanks to you all for watching this review, um, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And I will be back with many more very soon. Got tons more Rebels figures to give you a look at. Got some Black Series six-inch stuff as well. So plenty to look forward to in the coming months. So until then, as always, keep collecting and may the force be with you.